So in this video I want to show you how to use Adobe Reader and how that can work really well with interactive worksheets that we've got. So here's one that I've already created, an interactive worksheet, and I'm just going to hold my finger down and because I've got Adobe Reader installed I can choose to click on that. And that will bring up the interactive PDF document inside Adobe here and then I can tick, tick the right answers. I can click in here and give a response. And I can type in there. And so I've set this up so that I can actually tick, click in the boxes and as a student I can do work, which is a really handy thing. And that's great because you couldn't do that within the built-in iOS particular one. But if I click on the page, I do get a few other controls. So I just click on that there and I'm going to click on this option here, which gives me a whole lot of different ways I can do it. I can select here and I can just do a freehand drawing over the top of the work that I'm doing and that will be then have the ability to save it and then I can grab that object I can move it around and size it and in a lot of ways it's very much like an interactive smart board page I also have the capacity to click on text click somewhere on the stage and go hello I am well save and I also have some text on here. So I have the capacity as a teacher to make some notes in Word, export it as a PDF and send it to my kids. And then they can then come into here in Adobe Acrobat Reader and they can write notes over the top of the notes that I've provided for them. And that's a great way of compacting the curriculum and spinning up the time. I can put comments in and click here and then, hello, this will be hidden unless I click on it. You know, save and there's a little comment so this is a good way for teachers to be able to give feedback to the kids work because they can you send you a PDF you open it in a day breeder and you can work from there hopefully that's been a handy way of learning about the power of a day breeder I think it's a lot stronger than the built-in iOS version and I think it's worthwhile getting it set up on your iPad